Super Mobile. Welcome back, everybody. Here it comes the game. Playing some more Distant Worlds 2, and we're having a look at Dilla here. Uh, this is the capital of the Dilla Supremacy, not surprisingly enough, with a 3,500 strength. So to uh, to to respond to that, and we do, I think we do want to conquer them. Uh, we're going to try to fill up all our transports. So what do we have for man Oh, we do have some manpower ban banked, don't we? Oh, this is good. Okay, so we do definitely have some manpower banked in a few places. Um, not a lot out here, for instance, but that's fine. Oh, cannot afford to recruit these new troops. We're so short on cash. Uh, so before we do the uh, recruitment thing... <coughs> yikes. Uh, let's have a look at our actual transports. Let's uh, go here to our ships, and we can search by troop transports. Uh, the Reckless Stalker is the new one that is supposed to be on his way off to refuel. Yes, he is. Good. Uh, the Grim Demise is hanging out in here with some number of troops on him. I don't know what sort of uh, strength he's got there, but uh, go ahead and load the remaining, the remaining uh, troop that's there. There we go, and you're gonna head off to. Uh, I think you'll head to the capital first of all. So let's get you over here, and tell him to actually. So we're going to load the troops here as well. Uh, the Insidious is actually number seven. He's with the fleet right now. And did we clean up all of the leftovers? I believe we did. I think we got uh, a Brigadurai also emptied out. Yeah, it's just got its normal troops. They're happy as can be. They're pretty happy about our uh, our saving their butts. <clears throat> and um, now we could end this war. We could end the war with them. Try to let the uh, economy recover from it a little bit, while we stock up troops to go take them on. Uh, these numbers right here. That's showing our troop transport strength. So we are only at three four thousand two hundred. That's our current uh, loadout, but that doesn't count what's at the capital, uh, and it doesn't count what's at... Oh, I didn't realize you guys were both there, huh? Hmm, okay. Uh, if we head up to here, and we unload these troops, if you come up to here and unload the troops here, and you come up to here and unload these troops here, Uh, then that'll let us actually <coughs> speed it up a little. What the heck? Is that the bombers and fighters taking care of things? It is. Uh, banish warrior. So I'm going to actually bring this guy... No, that's fine. This carrier, you can do, uh, you can do a guard move here. Uh, that's fine. Uh, how much fuel do we have in this ship? Zero. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Let's fuel him up. And uh, if you can get over here and fuel this ship, that would be lovely. There's a ton of dudes standing in there. I wouldn't mind them having some fuel to move around with. More information. Um, an explorer under attack by Gravelux. Foreign agent captured. The Xanax Empire, huh? Hmm. Aren't we supposed to be friends, friend? Don't approve. <clears throat> hmm. Return to Xanath Empire. Uh, we could go negotiate for the return of its of the person. They're friendly towards us. Uh, let's negotiate a deal for uh, return of your spy. Uh, and in return, you could we could ask for a mining base. Hmm. Get that mining base and some money. They don't have a lot of money, I guess. Nope, apparently not. Reveal an independent colony? No, no, it's not useful. Bunch of ruins? Not useful. Contact with an unknown empire? There's another empire out there? What? Are you sure? <clears throat> I like this deal, though. We'll take the mining station and... Uh, it's only about 10,000, but rather than giving them back... There we go. That'll probably improve relations. It did, by them considering that a very positive trade deal. Good. I like it. Capture more spies, my counter-spy friends. Let's fuel this thing up while we're here. 
Now this place, does it have any fuel on board? It does not. Hi. You're here to, yeah, you're here to unload your units, but I actually want you to come over here first. Head in this general direction. You're fueled up. Good. You can fly over here. You come over this way. Drop off your troops. Ancient Mars Colony Ruin. There it is. We discovered the Ancient Mars Colony Ruin. Ancient ruins of the lost civilization at the rocky desert planet world of Mars. Yes, we should investigate. <coughs> Heck yeah. Uh, where'd the atom go? Where, where'd the atom go? There was a thing here. And it just vanished the moment I did that. <coughs> An ancient Mars colony ruin. Uh, we made a curious discovery. Oh, maybe it was... No, it may, yeah, it's on It's on this on the station here. That's fine. Um, this world was once significant, a significant research base for the ancient human solar republic. <coughs> Very little remains intact, but the ruin, at the ruins we've discovered a data bank containing information in the experimental inertialless thruster. Mm -hmm. This technology will enable us to build a vectoring engine which will allow, uh, allow for significantly faster course corrections. All right. Uh, we've discovered the experimental inertial, uh, inertialless thruster, a valuable artifact. The remains of the experimental thruster, which uh, the ancient humans appear to have been working on. Uh, okay. It looks like it was nearly completed before the research and engineering was interrupted. We've transferred it to our ship. In this case, our ship is our, is our research facility. Uh, ruins provide the following empire-wide bonus. 9% espionage. Um... Definitely we can colonize this, by the way. Uh, 9% espionage. These runes provide the following colony bonus. 4% colony development, 10% construction research, and 10% scenery. Nice. Alright, now. We do already have the mining there. We could put a scenery bonus down, but beyond maximum construction fuel... And this doesn't sound right. These numbers are not accurate. And that it might be because of the storm. Uh, let's see about transferring this one. Can we now transfer this thing? I would love to be able to. I don't know how that would work, but we'll try. I don't know if there's like some sort of passive activity goes on, or if the if an independent has to do that, or what happens there. If I'd say transfer this, I click on there and say transfer experimental whatever. Emerson Energy Research. I mean, we're getting it, I guess, for having it there, but I want it to move. My adversity. Were you an independent colony of Nexelians? Detected. Hello, Nexies. Hello, T Rexies. Uh, okay, hold on. Stop. New technology unlocked experimental inertialless thrusters. Very interesting. A mission completed for him and for him. Wonderful. Monitoring station research completed through that uh, snag of smartness. Now, next is the colonial work. I think this has to be let to happen. Uh, having these online is going to make a big difference for us. In fact, this would also be a good one to add to the list because it's going to be valuable for... You know what? We're going to do all of them. It's going to be valuable in the upcoming colonies. And we've got everything at Tier 2 now. And lots of Tier 3s. Well, most everything at Tier 2. Scanning jammers? Mm -hmm. Enhanced tracking systems? No. We don't have yet. Troop transport. Enhanced troop transports. I've left these out because the troop transports we have, or that we've captured, are much better. Large colony ship and large exploration ship up next on the civilian ship docket. Defensive bases. Okay. And these are medium spaceports. Ah, yes. Okay, so this is the next breakthrough that'll give us a bigger version of our of our systems. I do want these robotic, robotic repairs, though, before... Before all this colonialism. Definitely needs to happen. Orbital Escape Launchers is a planetary fighter base. It allows 36 fighters and bombers. A 36 wing fighter base. Pretty fantastic. Fighter repair rate 4 per second. Build rate 2 per second. Not bad. Root Interceptors. Resilient Assault Pods. Shield Penetration is 100. That's pretty good. Launch every 20 seconds. 
Assault Strength of 150. And the other Assault Pods were up here, are they? No, Space Marines are up there. Um, so, the space, shipboarding is here. There is one more in here that we have with the Mortalins, and I don't think it was Mortalin specific. I think just the civilian, or the... Uh, Either we haven't gotten the right tech to unlock it, possibly maneuvering, uh, enhanced maneuvering. But that's pretty cool. Uh, now where are these thrusters? It says there's a new thruster engine available here. Because we got a new thruster tech. Or unlocked a new thruster tech, I guess, eh? Maybe, oh, it's way the heck over here. Super maneuvering. Jeepers. Initiation is 50,000 credits. And it costs 19,200 to, to do this. These things have a vector vectoring thrust of 500. Max thrust of 15,000. And a cruise thrust of 10,000. Okay. Right now, our engines do 20 and 16. That's not the thrusting, and their vectoring is four. <laughs> our, our current vectoring engines are the ones that we can research right now of a, thr th a vector thrust of 100. And they have 1,300 thrust and 1,100 screws versus 15,000 max thrust and 10,000 crews with a cruise energy tiny, tiny, and the vectoring of 500. <laughs> That's pretty potent. Um, pure energy conversion. That sounds really good. Actually, let's get that up there because that's a lot of our civilians and that's a direct upgrade to a lot of them. Now, we could do uh, go down the different lines of, of hyper jump. The, where's the... Uh, not that one. This is the Caldas hyperdrives. That's what most of our captured uh, relics relic ships have been. And the others are the next version of this. So they upgraded at least one upgrade or two possibly to this one. So if we want the really fast, like super fast initiating crazy quick drives, I think this might be the tree to go down. These ones, however, are much more efficient. Slower jump, slower moving, but really efficient drive. So this would be like your civilian hyperdrive, in my opinion. This would be your military tech hyperdrive. Advanced shields. Ooh, hello. You make me interested, indeed. Advanced shields, what are they? Are they like really good? Like the fast accelerating shields or what? Wait, shield strength of 768, shield resistance three and recharge of five. Wow, what's with this? There's no penetration numbers? Shield penetration chance 8 and 25. There's just no shield penetration on this or what? Maybe that's the case. They just don't get penetrated. You have to break through them. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I would like the better fusion as well. These upgrades would be huge. Um, yeah, upgrade to that would be really good. Thinking what else we could do. Massive rail guns, the planetary cannon battery. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. I like it. <laughs> um, what's the range on this? Intercept range of 2800, range of 2800. Not bad. Blast anything from anywhere outside the planet. That sounds pretty good. Oh, and massive missile battery. That's for the uh, same thing, but planetary missile defense. <laughs> nice. Um, third automation. Hail cannon. Really? Hmm. A hail cannon. The hail cannon V2. They're small ones. Okay. Rail guns. See, it's this sort of thing, this rail gun upgrade, huge, huge fan of it. Because that's just a straight up upgrade, right? Predictive missile defense. Hmm. Bulwark missile batteries. Right. Well, I'm just browsing the, inter the, uh, the, the internet of uh, research now. But I think the robotic repairs and the pure energy conversion is definitely a, a must-go early. Um, light cruisers. 
I'm going to slide them down the list. Because I get these two important techs up first and get them going for civilian upgrades. We're down to losing only 29,000 uh, a, a year. That's something. Uh, we did say at the end of last uh, that we got some new stuff. So we need to look into new new systems. So what's our resort base? Well, let's see what tech we just got. It was under construction and we got the uh, large... Yes, right. So we have monitoring stations. We have the 1350 small... The third... The V3, basically. The level 2. The V3... Um, the Mark III, whatever, spaceport. We could upgrade to the next one, but that's not urgent for our system right now. Um, so, civilian ships, we got large freighters, we already did those. Large passenger ship and large colony ship, passenger ship, colony ship, and fuel tanker. Okay, let's look into those. Uh, we need to do those designs. So, let's see, the civilian ships, passenger ship, uh, let's see, you're 450 size. And then there's a new passenger ship that is a 675. Oh, this is the 450, really. They only have the small. Really. Um, I like the idea of going straight to the large. So let's look at this large passenger ship and what it's gonna, what it's gonna hold. Uh, I think countermeasures is the right play for him. And then some Talos shields. Maybe a couple of those and an ion sheath drive. We'll put a point defense, blocking point defense on there, and we'll put some uh, some engines, the quantum engines on here. And there's no way we need all of that, honestly, for a passenger ship, but not a terrible idea. Uh, reactors are going to be the fusion reactors and the energy collectors. We'll put on the energy collector there. A couple fusion reactors. Back to our general tab. Grab our command center. Uh, latest, yeah, command center. Uh, and then we have our, where is it, our drive, Derek hyperdrive, excellent. Uh, damage control unit on here, please, if we do that. Uh, crew storage and passenger capacity. Passenger compartment, a couple of those, maybe three. 605, 675, we need uh, fuel storage and crew. Crew systems, probably one. Yep, one crew system will do the job. And then some fuel here. And the range is that gives these guys 700. Go to a million. See if we can do a crew system here instead. And can we get away with another one? Probably not. That's in your compartments. No, they take 50. That'll throw us way over limit. But this is 6,000. That's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Uh, what else could you... Is there anything else we could use on this thing that would be smart? I don't think so. Um, got enough power for its hyperdrive. It's running its manual fuel, whatever, systems. How big are these things again? Quantum drives? Nice 20. Hmm. Now, they're at 56 speed. It wouldn't hurt to... They could go bigger. We could get away with another passenger compartment, for instance. And then put a crew system on here. And their speed would drop once we switch the engines out. So I was thinking, like, take out one of the engines. We're still a little over. In fact, we're ten points over. We could switch one of these shields for another armor. And that would give us the size we need. 47 speed. Oh yeah, I like this. This is good. They're only going 47 in their crews, which isn't terribly slow. Really, it isn't for the whole length of the, ver the journey. But these passenger compartments now hold uh, 2 million apiece. So we can move 8 million people on one of these things. Um, luxury liners. The Solaria luxury liners. There you go. Uh, that's so wrong. Luxury? Luxury. I know so much about luxury, I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Sometimes, life makes you just wonder, huh? Uh, yeah. Let me see. Let me get the spelling of this. 
It is two U's. Okay, just seemed wrong when I spelt it. There you go. The Solari Luxury Liners. I like it. So we'll uh, obsolete this one, and that'll upgrade everybody to the... Oh no, it is a Spore Flinger. I kind of like to keep the Spore Flinger. Let's rename that. Spore Flinger V7. Spore Flinger V7. There we go. Because this isn't the Solarian Empire. No, this is the second great and bountiful human empire. Okay, our mining ship is uh, capped 600. Do we have a better mining ship? No, that's the big one. Okay, fine. And I think he's reasonably up to date. Medium and large freighters, the, the light freighter. Light, medium, large passengers, mining ships, good. And uh, civilian bases. Now, you have uh, 1050 capacity. Mining stations, that is the biggest one, okay. Uh, I'm not sure that everything is up to par with you. Yeah, it probably is, actually. So we get the better energy collectors. Probably okay. It could upgrade its weapons, I think, but I don't know that that's very important right now. I don't think that's worth doing. It's too much of a hit to the private economy for too little improvement to their annual income. Uh, Halo Stations Resorts, the V5. They've got pretty much everything by the looks of it that's suitable. Yeah, I think this is fine. Again, these things are relatively well defended because of the fighter bays they've got on them. All right, that covers that. And looks at let's look at the uh, civilian ships again. We did get the new passenger ship online, and there was one other. Fuel tankers. Those aren't passenger though. Transports. The heck was that? We just got. Um. Tankers. We did the passenger. Oh, the colony ships. Medium colony ships and the large fuel tankers. Okay. I don't hate the idea. Yeah, no, let's do a fuel tanker. Let's do an upgrade to the fuel. Uh, so the fleet, uh, fleet tanker V4. Okay, you are a size 450, and I believe we have a new one, which is size 675. We haven't even been using the mediums. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so you guys are going to carry with you a short rate, uh, short range sensors. Good. Uh, some ion sheathing and a bit of talus armor. Lots of ion sheathing. Um, weapons are going to be um, blocking field point defense all around. That's fine. And we'll go with the efficient quantum engines. Don't mind that at all. And then we'll go back to our latest components up here. Grab our parts and get this building. You, you, you in place. One energy collector is fine. Put a few fusion reactors in there. Good. Damage control unit, which should actually be upgraded very soon. Um, what else? I mean, you're gonna need fuel, obviously, for yourselves, but that's your own range. Might need, might put three of those in there. Um, fuel transfer, remote fuel transfer in here. Um, thank you, dear. My wife just brought me a, a beverage recording. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, mining capacity, right, of course it needs mining capacity, cargo storage, and crew. Cargo storage, mining capacity. Um, mining capacity, mining, mining, small mining vessel, right there. Um, crew, systems. One is fine, and then cargo. If we can hold the number of cargo down low enough, or the crew down low enough to not need another cargo thing, we can cram pack a ton of fuel in this thing. So its actual fuel range is a million, or 957 million, and fly on its own. But it also can hold with it 8,400 Kaslock. 
no chance it can do that because that's way too big. There we go. Two less of those, and it can have. Um, now, if we did fuel, 60, 75, so we need 15 still. Huh? Okay, now this is this is good. So it's, it's actual range, it's actual cargo capacity is only 5,600, which is pretty much the same as the other one, I think. Didn't we just build the exact same ship we did last time? Uh, well, we could drop its one of its engines off. And have more cargo. What we really need is the bigger cargo. The upgraded cargo, the upgraded fuel cells, those are going to be, be huge improvements. And the, uh, the damp from the damage control up to the repair, proper repair bots. Okay, I approve. This is good. This is the save it. This is the fleet tanker V4. V5. Uh, fleet tanker. And honestly, I don't care if the civilians ever get an ounce of fuel from this thing, unless it's an emergency situation. We'll obsolete that one, get them to upgrade to the V5s. Uh, fleet support frigate. Exploration ship. Escort. Destroyer. Destruction ship. And colony ship. Okay, this is the, the World Seed V2. Now, I think we will do a new one for the new colony ship, because there's now a bigger colony ship. That one, medium. We'll design this thing, and this is going to have... Um, that's interesting. How are we going to use this? Do we do one, two, three, four colonies, colonized? I mean, I would ideally like to have four. That would be absurd. But the price on this thing is already 156000 Right? If we drop it down to one, it drops it below 50000 So, I'm not sure what we do here. Three systems here. Um, let's, let's just build it as if we're going to leave it at one, and then see what we do. Energy collectors... No, you know what? Let's build it at four. And see if that's doable. And then the energy collectors, we're going to need that much. Not quite that much. That much just to fuel it, huh? All right. Um, I don't know that the fusion reactor is necessary. We're going to do a quantum reactor on here. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Two quantum reactors are going to be needed. Three quantum reactors to fuel it with that. Good gracious. Through fuel storage engines. <laughs> That's no fuel at all. Yeah, that is a beast. Okay, so that many is just too much demand. Way too much demand. And now, we could do it without energy collectors, right? Build them, send them off to his location, be done with it, right? We could do that. And then he'd have uh, quantum energy here, here, and here. We could also do uh, fusion reactors. Three of them, four of them. Get that. Four of them instead of... Yeah, that might work. And then if we have three fuel cells in here, what are you missing? You're still missing crew and engines. Now, that's because we're crew systems. Demand for that is huge. And our engines are going to be too much as well. That's enough just without the engines on board. Wow, this is too this is too big. For sure this is too big. Yeah, <laughs> this is just plainly too big of a ship. Um, 100%. <laughs> just can't do it. I, I'm certain we can't make this fly. That is the ideal layout, like kind of like that, and then a couple blocking point defense systems, and then uh, engines we would go with the quantum engines. Right, that's the ideal size, and that's already 743, and it's still not enough crew. We'd actually have to drop one of the crew. If we dropped it to the 150, we wouldn't need the extra crew for it. We'd save one space of crew. We could put another fuel in, because right now it's only 310 million, which is okay. Not terrible. 460 is better. Drop a fusion reactor off. Almost enough. Almost enough. Man, that's a beast. And that's the 150,000. Or 150 million. Right? That can host 150 million uh, settlers. Conversely, we could just drop it to really small and efficient. It is the large one, which sounds really weird to do this with. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I like this idea. Uh, well, I mean, it's got the advantage of having better shielding and countermeasures and that sort of stuff. That's not a bad idea. 
Um, colonization module, if we have one on there, there's 50, um, 50 million people on board. With the appropriate crew systems now. And fuel. That gets it to a range of 760. And if we move the fusion reactor to its proper place and add in a energy collector, we could run this thing quite efficiently. And we can't just can't just do one fuel thing with that, eh? Or one uh, unit, no. 767 million kilometers. It's a long range to fly, but it's not actually that bad because this thing does have uh, it does have to move not directly from the nearest colony. Okay, world seed. V3. I don't know that this is the right path, but the world seed V2, and it obsolete it. <clears throat> I don't have any of them. And it's an 80,000 vessel. If we can do 50,000 and get a colony ship out, I think that's better for where the econ more realistic where the economy's at right now. And I do need to colonize. Like, if, let's have a look at our, our potential colonies here. Um, not counting ones that are occupied by a current species. Um, if we go with, uh, I guess, suitability. I mean, aside from the fact that those are ridiculously far away. Terra is saying it's too far away. I don't get it. Can't be. Just can't be. Um, this is where. Oh, right down here. Uh, deep ocean. Oh, so this would be an Akdarian colony. That's fine. Isserine 3 would also be an Akdarian colony. And then Sarah 4, which is a grassland, could go with the humans or... Um, where are they? Where is that? Where is this one? Oh, that's way over there. Never mind. It is actually out of range. Let's go with proximity distance from spaceport. You're not listing distance from spaceport, friend. Like, look where this is. Or maybe it's not. Yes, it is. Both of these are here. That's not close to my spaceports. I don't own a spaceport there that I know of. Do I? Does that count as is there a spaceport in here? It's a mining station. Oh, right. We have this spaceport. Oh, which means... Can we actually get resources here? I don't think so. Hmm. Scuttle it. That's an instant destruction. I don't really feel like doing that. Um, not in somebody's territory, so that's fine. So those two are definitely actually the closest, which is amusing. So game over four is the plus 15 for who? Humans and Keterov. Okay. Grassland option. Uh, this would be usable for the Akdarians. Okay, I'm looking for something over 20. Mustafar 3, if we put the Sakura in here, we could do that. Like these are, we should, we should be expanding. I think. Omeno or Darien's and Mustafar, as well as uh, uh, Sakurin and Mustafar. Mallorin 3 will be usable later. It will be over the 20 point after the next tech upgrade. Yeah, we could do a lot more population. A lot more. Hmm. I don't hate the idea of doing that, but our economy can't put them out. Just can't spew out these colonies. That's a problem. Not Zeus. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think what we're going to do is push towards Dilla. We're going to conquer the Dilla colonies, or Dilla capital. That's what we talked about doing last time. Oop, just about dumped over my beverage. Hmm. That was worth the interruption. Um, okay, so then what we're going to do is bring the bring the transports together. Reckless Stalker is on his way over to uh, Hyper. 
Do we have colonists building in Hyper? I don't recall. Let's go back to this whole shenanigans. We do have some. Um, we got three in the ready. We'll put seven more on the cube. Uh, Grim Demise has, is dropping off. No, he's picking up his units from, from uh, Earth. So load up troops there, sir. Insidious has just refueled and emptied his units. And you have... Re you're emptied and you're not refueled yet. Do that, please. Do him up. Let him get his, let him get his power up. Fearsome security encountered. Oh no. Igrites. Go away. Whoa. Catastrophic eruption in Greer. Well, that's unfortunate for them. The Buscaran conformity. Uh, multiple new super volcanoes have burst through the planet's crust, spewing huge oceans of lava across the enti entire continents. As a result, there's been extensive loss of life in the eruptions, even damaged the quality of the planet itself. Greer is a, is a beautiful place, or was a beautiful place for, for these people. Uh, damage of 3% only, actually. They've got, like, everything developed. They're basically just sitting here, infinitely researching. <laughs> I don't know how. This is all they have, is just this, like, little cluster of space. And yet they're massive research hogs. And now they do it. Don't understand, lads. Don't understand. Oh, we have spies to put out. Let's get them going. Before I, know, before I ignore them even longer. Um. You know what wouldn't be a bad idea? Getting some boost to the Akdarian relations. And the Tekan relations. Or Xenox, rather, relations. Not Tekans. I don't care about them, but the Tekans and the Ectarians, we should boost we should boost relations with those guys for sure. Cause uh, you know. Because otherwise we're gonna keep we're gonna end up getting into a, a shooting war with them. With someone there. Uh, enhanced maneuvering, we can finish that one off with a spy. That's great. So we're at 16% war readiness, which is not great. We had our robots done in one and a half years. We have almost 15 billion population. And uh, basically, we've done nothing else done for an agent captured. The Amwata Sendices for an agent captured. I appreciate that. I really do. That means we're going to do the same thing we did last time. And go immediately and talk to them. Since they'll be on the back foot here. They're displeased at 14 with us. If we speak to them and negotiate a deal where we hand them back their spy. Say, hi, this guy's worth 53 million. Can, you, can we talk? Narg, 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 and narg. Give me your nargs. We accept the proposal. Excellent. Narg, I think, was a system over this way, right? Where is Narg? I think it was off this way. Wherever it was, we just got it all. <laughs> we just took everything from Narg. Narg, Narg, Narg. Now, they're only going to offer those if they're in our territory, as far as I understand it. I thought that was the case anyway. Maybe neutrals, but I think they're in our system. Where's Narg? I mean, we just got it, so where is Narg? Narg. There you are, Narg. Look at that. Look at that beautiful line up there. Who's... What? Wait, who's this? Wait! Yeah, we let, we forgot one? Oh, no. Oh, MO253 mining station. Oops. I missed that one. Can I hit an undo button? Not a thing here, huh? But we just grabbed the mining, the st facilities in Narg. That's good. Right, and we'll upgrade these. We'll retrofit them. Here. Actually, let's look at what he has. Oh, heavy armor and Megatron shields. Let's not upgrade them. B2s, crew systems, vision reactors, yeah, ion shields though, mega density fuel. You know what? You know what, friend? You can you can stay as is. <laughs> you can stay how you was. I'm gonna cancel that. 
No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh man, you can't cancel the upgrade? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's just dumb. There's no no option to cancel this upgrade. Ah. Uh, hell, that's unfortunate. I won't do that too hastily next time. Uh, what do we got here? This is the mining station. What is this one? Oh, the research facility we just grabbed. Oh, that's beautiful. Does it have the same research labs that we do? Two of them at the 16s? Yeah. That's excellent. That was a real good find. Thank you, Spy, for getting caught. I hope he was worth it. <laughs> and it improves relations, I believe, with them. Yeah, they're now at minus 7 instead of minus 14. Excellent. Um, we already just did a deal with them. I wonder if there's uh, something we can do for that. If we buy that for like 10k, will you give it to me? Excellent. That didn't improve relations, but it got me the mining station. Which is okay. 10k for a mining station, uh, I approve. When it's in our own system. That definitely uh, locks down that as our territory. Better. I like that. Cool, cool turnout on there. Okay. Now to the ships, if we can finish this off, that would be great. You guys are going to do what? You got refueled. Good. Uh, so I'm going to actually send you to uh, Safoke to grab the Horizon peoples. Don't go capture that ship, dude. Don't go do that. Go here and load your units. Uh, and these units will all be loaded. Is that enough? There is fine. Go back to Earth Colony. Get a bunch more. Uh oh, limited terraforming is still sitting in Earth. Oh, terraforming improved four percent. Oh, okay, it's not up, not finished. It's soon to be finished, however, and we can save that seventy-five hundred a year. That's a big chunk of the income. Bad ancient human city ruins. I like how we got these little like. Stargate things going on here. Betcha that's what those are. <laughs> that would be amusing. Um, no, we're not going to pay pirates for protection. Offered restricted trade agreement with the Tekken Syndicate. Absolutely. Let's improve trade around the galaxy, shall we? Except for the places that I'm going to blow up. Ah, foreign agent captured. Well, we know what to do with that. A little foreign agent. Huh? Uh, let's t speak to your, your fine people. This is from, he's a member of the Tekken Syndicate? He is indeed. Okay. Hello, buggy bug, I mean ratty rats. Negotiate. Tell me, what can you do about this fellow? That and a bunch of money? That's it? That's all you're going to give me? All you got? That's all you got to offer, friend? You suck, dude. Well, that's okay. We'll take a mining station and him. And super happy with us. Nice. I like this. It's improving our stability around the galaxy. I'm fear I'm slightly less terrified of getting piled on by 14 enemies. This is good. Okay, so we've got uh, we got the fleets loading up. This guy's over here. He's going to uh, load this group. That should be almost all of them. Oh, there's two extras here. Okay. High intensity gravitic storm encountered. Where is this? AA282. Um. Oh yeah, AA282. You have. Wow. That's this guy. What is that gonna do to our ship? Aside from the fact that, holy crap. Uh, that's a phenomenal research facility. Phenomenal. Where is it? Where did it go? Don't hide from me. Where are you? Ah, A282. Holy Moses. 30% to all research. And 40% to hyperdrive research. That's absurd. How do I get that? Why can I not get that? Hmm? Gotta be. Gotta be a reason for that. Why are you not able to... Don't explore that. Explore this. Survey this thing entirely. Um, no? Yes. 
That's why you can't do it, because there's a Vorticar about to blow your face up. Get out, man! Get out! Wow. Oh. Did he just get blown up, or did... No, he's escaping. That's fine. Well, that is a phenomenal thing that we would probably want to get at for sooner rather than later, right? Board mission thwarted. He was detected. Escape when, a, when a forces detected a, them attempting to steal territory maps. <clears throat> Fine. Okay. That is an outrageously powerful spot. And that is 100% worth going down there to take care of. So who do we send to do that? We got a bunch of Vorticar or some number of Vorticar there. And we need that mining, that research facility uh, for certain. This entire thing is going to be some sort of bubble of doom. You guys are just colonizing the crap out of the area, dudes. Holy smokes. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, well... Let's see, you have you filled up, and when you filled up, 2600 strength. Okay, that's pretty good. Grim Demise is not full, but filling. Uh, who else do we have uh, units at? Where else do we... Do we have any units sitting in Mustafar? Yes, but just the civilian, just the local defenders. Uh, let's actually just look here through our colonies. Elix does not have extras. Although it could. Um, these guys are recruiting more. No. Yes. I expect we'll probably need five to ten uh, units. Oh my goodness. The Sakurin have sp spammed out into this colony. It would be better, larger population than the spiders that were that we sent here to colonize it. Um, I imagine the... Uh, we'd need probably 6 to 10, maybe 8 or 10 uh, uh, but brigades for each... Uh, for each enemy place that we actually want to hold, each Dilla Supremacy place we want to hold. Okay, well our ships are going to get there to collect the things that they need, the peoples that they need. I think if we could get the money to- oh we do have the money together. I think if we could uh, get the construction going at Earth, go ahead and build me a World Seed 3. I could almost build the World Seed 2 for this guy with an upgrade. Alright, hold on. If we edit this and add a colonization module in, another fuel cell, switch the crew systems up. Need a little more crew, a little more fuel. Doesn't quite have the capacity, the power to run it. Energy collectors. It's lacking in energy collectors, which is probably a very bad idea. Static of 140. Okay, give me another fusion reactor there. Drop one of the reactors down there. Energy collectors, 637. Again, this is back up to the having the deal of having more of these guys. <clears throat> 100,000, 100 million colonists heading to Terra. Would be amazing. Uh, price tag of eighty-seven thousand, however. Four ninety-three eighty-nine. Yep, let's build it. World Seed Three is being built. That hopefully will go to Earth. Uh, they want to end the war. They'll give us a mining station, unknown ancient ruins information, special location, special location. No thank you. We are going to go to try to take Dilla, and if we can knock Dilla, there's no point in not taking them entirely out. I just can't see any reason why we would take that out and not take those two out. And if we can, we hold their capital. And we take out those two colonies, that's very doable. Very, very doable. Uh, and then just go and capture everything. Like literally everything they've got in the galaxy gets captured. I don't know if taking their last colonized world out actually gives us 
control of everything they have or how that works, but knock out everything they've got, take control of it, um, or call it, or rebuild it ourselves. And then there's th and then there's this place, <laughs> this beautiful fifty-six Zeus uh, planet that would be nice for you know we could put Ketarovs or us here, and there's these guys in it, but there's like the place is a mess. You have this like defense system on it that swarms birds out after you when you get hit. Weird. Automated defense systems, you know, bad news bears. But next episode, we uh, we field our our fleet towards Dilla. I think that's the goal. So that's it for though though for today. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me for another episode. And uh, excitement, excitement. We got our colony ship that's hopefully going to be able to colonize Earth, unless it is technically too far. Uh, rumor has it that this storm might be affecting the concept of range. Uh, I don't know how that would how that would play out, but uh, yeah, we do have also Mitos here, which is definitely worth having a look at before too long. But uh, we've got we're, we got stuff moving in and out of the solar system. So, I mean, we've done mining, we've done construction here, we've got a research facility here, I and mean, we've got to get to Terra. Old Terra has 90% quality, so that's just wildly good for everybody. So, it's a super planet. Uh, what's its size? Only four, 49. Oh, how big? Only like. Well, 5,000 diameter, so it's not going to have more than about, I don't know, 8, 6,000, no, maybe 6 or six or 8 million, or billion, I mean, capacity on it. But And then there's then there's here. We could also send the, some Sakura into Mars to colonize that, so. And that would do, that would totally be doable. Um, yeah, both of those can be colonized, but we're going to have to send a fleet in here as well. Probably uh, deal with some of these gravelex because it's going to get a little nasty when we actually start putting stuff of value in here. So, but that's it for today. Thank you everybody so much for joining me. I want to have a 10 second quick look at these relics. Where the heck were they? Where are our relics? I don't remember. Um, not special locations, known ruins. Where is it? Where the heck are my relics? Uh, colonies. That's your new col Ah, artifacts. They're there. Yeah, you're on the way through the Umwat uh, Ascendancy's territory, and you're sitting there probably with an order to move. At Soul Research, transfer to Earth, ETA 2813 1110. So another year and a bit, and that should transfer. I don't know if it happens automatically in the background, or if that's how long they expect a civilian ship to be able to get them there. But I'm okay with the wary adversity actually bringing the, uh, the Constitution Crystal personally to the capital. Sounds great. Although maybe, maybe we keep it. Hmm. Maybe we should keep it on Earth. I mean on Terra. If we can colonize Terra, that's the thing. I don't know if we can. Tempted to... Yeah, he's, he's fine. Let him go. All right, that's going to be it, though, for today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. See you in the game.